Hello friends, it is a snow day around here and there are several parts of this house that need a deep decluttering. I keep, the, the phrase I keep wanting to say is it's a complete disaster. But in our homeschool dining room here, we still have, let's see, today's date when I'm filming this is January 13th. We still have Christmas stuff up that needs to get taken down. I've got books on the bookshelves that are disorganized. I have, yeah, you'll see it here in a minute. There's just a lot of clutter in this room. Of course, we're working with small spaces, so we need to clean up, clear out, and get this room together. Along with that, the house needs a top to bottom cleaning. Kids need to work on bedrooms. All the bathrooms need clean. Counters need scrubbed. Cabinets need wiped. Floors need done. Windows need done. Fans need done. It all needs done today. So on top of a top to bottom cleaning, definitely going after this dining room. If I can get to it, I'd also love to be able to take everything off of and organize my laundry room shelves. And if I still have the stamina, after we do all that teamwork cleaning, I have some fruits and veggies I'd like to get prepped for the week. So let's see what Jamerell gets done. Are you going up to the trampoline? You're pl Are you Where are you guys? I can help you with your gloves. Meet me at the kitchen door. How you doing? Good. You been exploring? Well, I made some funny videos with Liam, and now we're playing a fun dragon game. Awesome, and the snow. This snow won't quit. So there they go. The playing continues. And we were so thankful for all of this snow because we have not had a snowstorm like this in Virginia for quite a while. But here I am getting Christmas toys out of the way. Yes, that's some helium tanks. That's what every family needs, getting the Lego tub out of there. Now I'm just kind of, I'm getting things out of here that don't belong because I do want to go top to bottom through the house, but I have to do this room first. Right now I am unloading a box of cleaning goodies from Grove Collaborative. As always, if you want some of that good stuff, the link will be down in the description below and I had a plan oh, oh look wait 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 no plan no plan plan interrupted little boy coming in from playing in the snow so Daniel was in had to get him out of his gear he stayed out for about 30 minutes or so that day and then he was done he was back in but the rest of the kids I thought they might only get 30 minutes too they were out for well over two hours there I am helping one kiddo after of course a bathroom break after you get all the snow stuff in on get the gloves get back out and here I'm just wiping down those tables tray tables I got at the thrift store still had not gotten to get those a good wipe and I clean those with the multi-purpose spray and we did find a good home for them and we've been using them these last couple days so book organization you will see my shelves they're okay I mean you know 80% or more of the books are in their places however you can also tell there are books hanging there chapter books that needed to be put in their right homes our science shelf those books get used daily the kids love so many of our science books so I will get to that shelf in a minute what I'm doing now is going through a milk crate that I had various homeschool materials for last year that got shoved in a closet in, during summer and so I thought oh I must pull this out of the closet and deal with it and it's very various grammar books and workbooks and such that some kids used and then I also had some extras so they just need to be put in their appropriate homes I'm getting those put away a homeschool mom's work is never done right and then Zion, oh, I'm, I didn't even mention it yet, my goodness. He is helping his mama big time by taking down all the Christmas stuff and packing it away. Thank you, Zion. You'll see he's also growing out his cool hair. He's always had curly hair, but when it's short, you can't tell. So now he's growing it nice. Okay, mom has already said too much about his hair. Better stop now. So back in the corner, I am picking up, taking down the garland, taking down various odds and ends that got behind the Christmas tree, taking down those stockings. Zion's going to organize all the ornaments for me and get those packed up for next year. So now I'm putting on top of our shelves, I keep the kids dance clothes, their basketball um, jerseys, and let's see, what else do we have up there? Dance clothes, basketball jerseys, oh, and then taekwondo clothes. Yes, they'll keep all of those on the top shelf. It's just easier on lesson days to have it for that many kids, <laughs> all organized in one spot. So now I'm cleaning my Hobby Lobby sign in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. That sign always makes me happy. 
You can find all the good encouraging signs at Hobby Lobby. Nope, that plant's not quite done. Get that up there. And so I'm just claiming back the mantle, lighting a candle. <laughs> there it is, all fresh. Christmas is gone. No dust. And now we'll move down to that fireplace. Now I will say this is every year we have our fireplace and chimney inspected. That fireplace is supposed to heat over 2,000 square feet with wood, wood, the wood stove. We just don't use it, but it's ready to go in case of an emergency. And we have wood in case of power outage, etc. But we haven't needed to use it, and we used our wood stove in our farmhouse for over 10 years. And we are, pun intended, we are burned out <laughs> on heating with wood. We are enjoying having our central heat and central air. I don't want to have to use the wood stove unless we have to. So those shelves over there are all of our picture books and picture collections and old yearbooks and baby books. And that's some of my grandma's tea set way up on the top. It's called the Wild Rose or Rambling Rose Collection. And now I am just going after organizing these books and dusting these shelves. This is more of like Travis's car books are down here. I actually let that man have two shelves of all of his, his car encyclopedias. And we have Bible study books and parenting books and homeschool books down on that end. Okay, this is our Bible basket and it just needed to be completely everything taken out of it, everything wiped down, the whole basket itself. It's just a... It's a mess because, you know, we use it. And so we get little particles of food and interesting things in there. So getting all the Bibles back in there and then some storybook Bibles for the younger kids to look at when we read. And then that Jesus Freaks book I always talk about by, from Voice of the Martyrs. And then that's my little glass, uh, what would I even call that? Glass jar I got from the thrift store. Okay, so here I'm going through... I have a lot of the kids writing notebooks and handwriting books in that basket on the floor there. I just pull that out every day, hand them out. Got some math books there, my sunlight binder, their spelling power. And I have, now I'm just organizing, bringing the all about reading, all about spelling down. Putting that in place. Last year I had binders for the kids, like big binders with everything in them. And then some years I've done what's called work boxes, but it's a milk crate. I've had work boxes where I've had my big homeschool mom toolbox. So I've done it, organi homeschool organization, different ways, different years. So here I'm just trying to go after all the little odds and ends. Get the trash in the trash bag, and then that's a pile. Look at Gabriel there. I had him pull his shirt up like a bag and gave him all the little toy pieces, and his job was to go around, help his mama, and get those toys put up. So here I've almost got the table clear. I'm going to pick up this tablecloth, shake it out. That is a new Pioneer Woman tablecloth. Oh, it's so beautiful and it almost fits my table. Exciting. There I am. Oh, if only Jamarelle could really sweep that fast, right? Going around, getting all the little nooks, crannies, little pieces. So this room really was a complete disaster when I started with all the Christmas stuff and the disorganized shelves. And you will not believe when I tell you. I'm going to tell you in a minute how long this took me. Oh, and... Now let's not forget, fix those maps, Jamarill. There you go, a little better than they were. I'm gonna go after these shelves for a good dusting. I will link in the description below where we designed and built these books, IKEA bookshelves this summer. So here, all the games needed some mama organization. I had to get, I wanted puzzles on puzzle shelves, board games with board games, cards with cards. And I'm slowly replacing all of our games I need a new, I know I need a new copy of Trouble. <laughs> so I think, yeah, yeah, we've, we've been slowly replacing them. Here I'm trying to get the paper organized. I have a big stack of paper here and I decide to put it in one of my Ikea baskets. That's just for kids, that's consumable. I want kids to draw and clip and glue and create. And here we go. So friends, it took me three hours between kids coming in during snow play and I don't even know what was happening but all the stuff I listed in the beginning uh-uh that was a no-go but this room got done that's how a lot of things go in life you got to do what you can do make the best of it and hey by the end of the day this room was done and that was it felt awesome to have this complete disaster of a room it was like we had a we gained a room back in our house <laughs> we could use it the kids were like oh we can do puzzles now in here you know because we had so much clutter and mess on the table 
anyway it is usable and we are excited about it now I did get to the rest of the things on my list and you will see that in an upcoming video but it took me until the following day to get the rest of my big ambitious you know Jay Morrell doing all the things I thought I could do it but I just couldn't quite do it so it took me till the next day but we did get the other things done so be on the lookout for that video thank you so much for watching friends I will see you probably tomorrow with another brand new video bye bye